Martin Morning. Every morning when you open your eyes. Martin Morning. You're always in for a big surprise. You might be a dragon with a tail. With a tail? A witch. Or a caveman hunting down a trail. Bobo is your friend and biggest fan. We're going to have fun. Your favorite girlfriend is Roxanne. You sure make a great dragon. Martin Morning. It's not my pajamas, it's a dress, but I'm not a girl. I got a beard. You hardly ever see girls with beards. What's this? Book of Magic for Enchanted Martins. <gasps> okay, I get it. Today, I've gone and turned into a magician. Whoa, I look weird. This must be a book of spells. How do you suppose it works? Hmm, let's see. Uh, Rami Natapastaga. Not bad. Ow, ow, ow. Ah. A packety buzzara. Uh -huh. oh. Uh. oh no, Martin, all the toast is flying into the mustard. Sorry, Mom. I must have pronounced the spell wrong. I can't eat that, honey. You know I only like peach jam. Don't get upset, dear. He's just learning. It's not easy being a magician. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Wow, so you're a magician today. Very classy. You have magic powers and all that? Must be cool, huh? You think so? Would you want to have this beard? Or eat toast with mustard for breakfast? But you're a magician. Apprentice. I'm just a magician's apprentice. Got hey. it? That's it? You must not be very hungry this morning. Oh, I am, but I figured you might be able to... Know what I mean? <laughs> okay, I can take a hint. I'll try, but I can't promise. Ah. Uh... Karabi mascara mascara! Ra! <laughs> not bad for an apprentice. Ah, it's a piece of cake, Gromo. I just wonder, well, if Roxanne will laugh at the way that I look. Especially the beard. Mmm, you look sensational. Let's get going. She must be waiting for us. Mmm. Hey, you, get, get down. Leave me alone. Uh-oh. Martin, do something. Help me quick. Come on, hurry up. Well, um, nice. Let's see. Nice dogs, dogs, dogs. Uh, here, dogs. Okay, you first you gotta do this. He's biting me. Ow! Ow! Carabus the bakra! Carabus the bakra! What's that? There you go. <laughs> hey, Gromo, wait up. Oh, you little Wait. rascal! Sultan, my treasure! Stop that, Sultan! No! Ugh, let me go. You stink of garlic. <gasps> oh! Yes, my precious doggy has suddenly lost his mind. Yeah, your dog told you you spelled like garlic. Oh, of course. No, whatever you do, don't leave the house, dear lady. We're on our way. Another one with a screw loose, Alfred. She's at number 33 Main Street. Okay, dude. Consider it done. Hey, Gromo, what's the matter? But Gromo, are you... Hey, guys. <gasps> Martin, Gromo. Hello, Martin. Hello, Gromo. <laughs> Hi, Roxanne. Where have you been? I got tired of waiting. 
I was afraid that you guys might be in trouble, so I came looking for you. Is that a magician's costume you're wearing? Yeah, do you believe it? A dress, it's embarrassing. What have you got against dresses, Martin? I think that one looks good on you. Don't you, Grumo? What's with him? Hey, uh, Roxanne. Uh, Bravo, Martin. Terrific job on the spell you uh, cast. Spell you cast? What spell did you cast? It's not my fault. It's because of Sultan. Uh, you be quiet, you, or I'll bite your arm off. So now you know, that's the whole story. I must have done something wrong at some point. I wonder what it was. I got the weirdest feeling. My book of magic. I forgot my book of magic. I put it down right there, right there. I'm sure I did. And there was a big pile of old newspapers right next to it. Not anymore. Today's the day of the week they pick up all the papers, honey. You can be sure they got your book mixed up with them. But where did they take them? Oh, they'd probably be at the recycling factory by oh. now. Recycling? Ah! Did that dog speak? Woohoo! I can't undo the spell without the book. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I'm not spending the rest of my days chewing on old bones. Please, you're a magician. Can't you cast a spell to get me out of this? You have to, Martin. Okay, I'll try and remember some stuff I saw when I looked through the book. Come on, come on, concentrate. A bucket of pasta. Ta-da! Oh. I'm afraid that was wrong. Bucket of pasta. <laughs> Oh. Well, let's hope the third tries the one that works. No, don't. I think it would be much safer if you waited until you get a hold of your magic book before you try something else. Yeah, Martin, your mistakes are killing me. Well, what do you suggest I do? Oh, well, Listen, guys, I know there's an old factory right next to the paper factory. I went there once with my father. That must be where they stack the stuff for recycling. Gee, it's far away, all the way on the other side of the city. Hey, we're not walking there, are we? I mean, you got shoes, but I'm barefoot. I'm getting blisters. Be quiet. Buses are for people, not dogs. We'll see about that. Here's the bus. Hi, can I have a ticket, please, sir? Huh? Quiet, bad dog. <laughs> it's him, my friend's a ventriloquist. Not bad, huh? Oh, that's very good. Congratulations. You must work with the circus, right? <laughs> Calm down, Gummo, calm down. Well, he better behave himself. May I have four tickets, please, sir? I'll pay for everybody. It's locked. Nobody's here. There's the guard's office. Let's look. Uh, hello, sir. Here's the thing. I'm a magician, and I transformed my friend into a dog. So I've got to get back my magic book in order to change him into a person. Oh, is that all? Don't you recognize me? I'm Martin Morning. You know, the one who has weird things happen to him every morning. Look, I have no idea what happens to you every morning, but I can tell you what's going to happen to you right now if you don't get out of here this minute. You hear me? Out! Disappear! Oh. Go on! Did don't you come see, back. Martin? The keys were hanging right there on the wall. What can we do? Well, we can't give up. We're so close. Ah, I think I've got an idea. I just have to remember the formula. Let's see. Hmm. Got it. I'm not sure whether or not it'll work, but it's worth a try. Ramina Pastaga! Now listen, Gromo. You gotta be the lookout, so if anyone shows up, just sing that song we learned at school the other day. A friend of someone who plays different games with you. It's better when there's two, make things more fun to do. Most games are hard to play if you are all alone. Like, like tennis or croquet, okay, but, but you can, can make it fun. Ha! <laughs> okay, you guys, I'll stay here. You can count on me. Hmm. Oh! Look at all that. Come on, Martin. You said not to give up. You're right, so you go there and show us your stuff. Uh-oh. Who's that? Oh, rats are coming this way. I hope they don't get any closer. Stay right there, Roxanne. I'm going to try and find out how to turn off the fan. 
I guess I should give it a go. A friend of someone who plays different games with you makes things more fun to do. You hear that, George? Um, a talking dog. The boss is going to love this. We're going to make a fortune. Uh, most games are hard to play if you are all alone. Here, little doggy. Little doggy here. It sure is. Good thing you turned on that fan. It blew the papers away that were hiding it. Hey, we did it, Gromo. We got the book back. Gromo, that's weird. Where'd he go? Gromo! Big Top Circus, today in your neighborhood. Big Top Circus? Well, Martin, I think I know where we can find him. Let's go to the circus. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, for the very first time in the world, and right here in your neighborhood, will you please welcome the amazing Skinny Sammy and his amazing singing dog. It's now or never, Martin. Um, go on. Tara Buck the Growler. <laughs> Are you a human being again? Oh, <laughs> I fooled you. <laughs> yeah, I'm back to normal, but it sure took you long enough. I was getting itchy in Sultan's flea bag coat. Martin. <laughs> 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 <laughs>